Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to use crimp covers to hide your stretchy knots. Usually we like to use a large hold beads to hide our stretchy knots, but sometimes you just can't use one in your design. So first I've just pre-strung these crystals. Their hole's not quite as large um, as we would need it to hide the knot. So I, I already measured, it's a good length. I'm gonna just pre-stretch it and tie my knots. So I do one, two, three. Then I still will put glue on it right here. Oh. So I'm gonna just pull it away from the beads just a little bit and put a little dash of glue right there. Then once it's dry, I'll use my cutter or you could use scissors and I'll cut the ends. So it's really not offensive, but you do still see that little knot. See right there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a crimp cover. I used one millimeter stretch, so I'm gonna use a four millimeter crimp cover here. We do sell smaller ones if you're using smaller stretch. And the crimp cover is great. It's just a little C-shaped bead. And the easiest way to apply this is to hold it with a crimping plier in those open edges. So very gently, whoop, very gently at first, then we wanna slide it just over our knot. Whoop. See, so it's covering the knot. Then I'm gonna use my crimping plier and I'm just gonna make sure those edges match up. Another great use for this would be if you were using a connector in a stretchy bracelet. So I grabbed a couple different connectors you could use the cowrie shell, the soda tab, uh, or this uh, Chinese crystal one. We also have a really pretty quatrefoil design that would be nice. So this bracelet piece is a little bit shorter because I'm gonna add about an inch worth of length with that connector. First, I'm just gonna string it on one side and I'm gonna tie my knot here. And I'm only gonna do two on here just because I'm gonna do it again on the other side. So I'll slide all my beads down and then I'll string through that loop on that side. So it's now part of the bracelet. And then we'll do one knot. two knots. Like so, I'll still do my dabs of glue on my knots. And then once those are dry, I'll cut my ends. And again, I'll use the crimp covers to hide those knots. So I'm gonna gently hold it with my crimping plier kind of shimmy it over that knot. There we go. Just pinch it closed so that that seam matches up. I think these just give a nice polished look, especially if you have a connector like this. Thanks so much for watching. Happy beating.